everybody, welcome back to Photogenic. At Photogenic, we work on your outer beauty by focusing on your inner beauty. And as always, we start out our videos with an affirmation. This one kind of pertains to my cute little ears made by the fairy god sisters. Don't ever let anyone dull your sparkle. Seriously, don't let somebody tell you that you can't do something because you enjoy it. Don't let someone try and tell you that your business idea is crazy and totally out of reach. If you dream it, you can do it, and that means don't let them dull your sparkle. Okay, so these are nice and sparkly, so be as sparkly as my ears. Shine bright. That's the whole, uh, that's the whole point. I have some visitors in the background because everybody's homeschooling right now. We have been homeschooling since January, but um, everyone else has been homeschooling because of the coronavirus. So what this video is about, I have been using the Jaclyn Hill palette volumes one and two quite a bit recently. And you know, it's $39. You do get a lot of shades, a lot of shades for $39, but are you gonna use them all? How do I maximize my money that I've just spent on this palette? So I'm gonna tell you how you maximize it. We are going to use the eyeshadows as contouring and highlighting on my face. Yes, you heard that right. We are going to use the shadows as contouring and highlighting on my face because I want you guys to be able to get as much out of the palette as humanly possible. I already have my base on, and so I put my cream contouring on, and um, it is by Fenty Beauty. I love it. You just work it in with a brush. You put it in your little contour areas, and I've already put that on, already put my foundation on, all the good stuff. Really, we're just setting everything. Because it's creamy, if you have a creamy makeup that you're putting on, you wanna set it with powder for it to stay on your face. If you don't, it will melt off very quickly. So we're going to go into, let's go into this buns color right here. And you're gonna wanna gauge it based on your skin tone. You don't wanna go super dark. You don't wanna go really light. You kinda wanna go with your skin tone and what's gonna look good. The best thing you can do is kinda take it on your wrist first and put it on and blend it in and see if it's something that, you know, you like. So we're gonna dip into that buns tap it off and we're just going to start working this in just like that ooh that is like that's a hella contour I like this color so I'm using the R3 Morphe brush it's a little rounded rounded tip brush for me, it works wonderful for contouring. So we're gonna do that on the other side. Oh my goodness. It's, it's definitely very pigmented. And you wanna spread it out, blend it out. Don't be afraid to go down a little bit. Get in those little, get in those lines, blend those lines away. Ooh, I love I love being able to have an eyeshadow palette that's like a transformer. You know, you can use it for contouring, you can use it for highlighting. Ooh, ooh, I love it. All right, same thing, we're gonna go up here around the hairline, top of our nose, under a little double chin here. After we've done that, we're gonna use the same color, which is called buns. We're just gonna lightly put it, lightly go around the hairline. Cause you want it to look like it's naturally just kissed by the sun, really. Same thing under here. Cause you wanna have a nice little jawline. I also have dogs scratching back there. So welcome to my life. But that's, I like being real with you guys. Everything is not perfect in my world. And it's not really perfect in anybody's world. So if they tell you otherwise, they're lying. All right, we're just gonna go right on the 
top of the nose here on either side because we want to give that nose some definition. And like I said, I really just wanted to give you guys a palette, you know, show you guys a palette that can do multiple things. Because if you're spending $39 on it, you want to make sure that it is well worth your money. And I'm Jaclyn Hill has two palettes out, and I'm leaning toward the first one as my favorite just because um, it really, really um, works well. All right, so let's see. We're going to go into this beam color right here for our highlight. And this goes right on top of our cheekbones. Ooh. I love this. Look at that. Is that's really pretty. So we're using Beam and this is the Morphe R36 brush. It's just a nice little highlighting brush. That's what I use on my highlighting areas. Oh, nice. And then we're going to go down right above the jawline because we like to highlight that, put a little contrast in there. We're just kind of being like an artist, if you will, and kind of blending blending everything in light with our strokes. We don't want to be too heavy with our strokes. And don't be afraid to get up into that contouring line that we did because that just blends it even further. I like to go right here in the middle of my chin, give it a little bit of a highlight, and above my lip. Then we're going to do on top of the nose, right in between those two lines that we did on either side. And then the last places are right above our eyebrows. Now that we did that, we need to do a blush. Let's see which one of these is going to work for me. We're going to go into Little Lady right here. So there's one called Sissy next to it, but um, I think it's going to be a little too dark for my complexion. So we're putting on our blush. We want to smile, get those apples of the cheeks going. Ooh. That's a nice light, nice light little color. Little Lady is what it's called. Ooh, I like that. Simple, not too overwhelming, because you don't want to be like the Golden Girl. I mean, you want to be like the Golden Girls, but you don't want to be like the Golden Girls with their makeup in the 80s. It was, it was a little much. I'm gonna put a little bit more back on this cheek. Oh, wow. I am really, really, I'm loving this look I like I said I like bringing you guys things that can be multifunctional and I used during this process three brushes I used the R3 and that was for our dark contour I used the R36 from Morphe and that was for our light contour and then I used the R7 and that was for our blush so three bl three blushes three brushes and you know when when we do a smoky eye tutorial I really probably only use three brushes as well I like it to be very minimal the amount of brushes that you have to use I like it to be small because that way you're not having to buy a whole lot and it beauty shouldn't cost you an arm and a leg you should be able to invest in a few pieces that will last you quite a while so that that is your tutorial for today I'm Man, I like it. I want to see you guys. Send me some pictures of you doing my tutorials. Um, I would love to feature you on my Instagram stories, my Facebook stories. I like seeing all the bright and beautiful shining faces that reach out to me. It makes me feel very, very good and shows me that what I'm doing is working. So remember our affirmation today. Don't ever let anyone dull your sparkle. Be sparkly like my ears. Do not let anyone dull your shine. You are beautiful and bright and you deserve the world. So reach for the stars, keep that sparkle going. And remember at Photogenic, we work on your outer beauty by focusing on your inner beauty.